Well guys, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to all. Welcome to Hartung Family Farms. Today it's Sunday, October 13th. Not Friday the 13th, thankfully, but it's October 13th. And we're going to be filling the pit today. We are, they've chopped six loads. Pat finished up five custom chopping customers this past week. And we're going to chop our own today. So we got a big day coming. We're going to fill our pit full of silage. We're going to have at least six people helping us. So we got a lot in store. Let's see what's going on. It's like 50 degrees out right now. It's kind of chilly. I'm in my long, long johns and got a bunch of stuff going on this morning. Pat and Curtis are doing cattle or doing chores right now. Nathan's in the loader distributing the, what we got piled up so far. We're not going to use this pit this year. We used to put silage in this one, but it's getting pretty bad. You can kind of see that's a two foot dip right there. So we're not going to fill and hopefully redo it this, this winter or this next summer maybe. I think we'll get her done today. Uh, we gotta chop some earlish for tonight's feeding, so I don't know if we will or not. Probably not. Yeah. <coughs> Blanchard bringing a packing tractor, or we can use this? Uh, yeah, they're bringing a packing tractor. That's cool. they, I thought they were gonna bring the fent, but they're so, doing they're doing earlish today, so. Uh, I was hoping they'd bring the fent. I saw they had the blade on it. That thing's a tank. That thing is awesome. So Nathan, we've had a lot of new people join the channel since you've been on it lately. So who are you? Uh, I'm Nathan. I'm uh, Pat's son. Uh, oh, you forgot how rough that is. Yeah. I'm out of Iowa State right now, uh, studying well the general thing of ag, and then uh, I'm a junior out there. So I've been busy out there. I haven't been I haven't been home in three weeks, so it feels good to be home. Yeah, well, we haven't been doing much in the last three weeks. Yeah, true. We're oh. going to start harvesting. Hopefully this week get started with beans. Yeah, hopefully. The beans behind the house are ready. I do know that. Yeah. Which means the ones up in Bellevue are ready, too. Yeah. She planted those before. So Nathan's kind of the brains of the operation. I'm just the footwork. That's why he's going to college. You get all smartened up. Pretty much. So again, guys, for the new subscribers, we have all the people right here. So Pat's the dad on the... On the He's running the, the feeder wagon tractor right now. Nathan, his oldest boy, is talking to him. And Curtis, his youngest boy, is right there in the skid loader. So those are the main guys on this channel. I'll kind of explain them later, but i got to go fuel this thing up. So again, for the new subscribers, guys, Pat is the owner. He was on the feeder wagon tractor. Nathan's a junior out of Iowa State studying ag. And Curtis is a freshman out of Kirkwood Community College studying ag business, I believe. And I'm just kind of the lone cousin that helps out. That's kind of the main active guys in this channel. We have a lot more people helping out us, helping us out on the farm, but as far as that want to be active on the channel, that's basically it. So I'm going to fuel up the 340 right now. Nathan's going to unload the 190 in a full chopper box, and all of our wagons are unloaded. Today we're going to be using the 340, the 190, both on chopper boxes, Myers, and we're also going to use our our truck. It's over there. It's uh, Sterling, I believe. It's got a Meyer box on it as well. Guys, for all my cattle raising guys that do chopping, you guys haven't tried a Meyer box yet, be sure to do so. We love them. We've had Meyer for about 10 years now. We used to have Badger wagons, but we switched to Meyers just because even 10 years ago, they had the capability to dump out the back and out the front. Really quick, simple changeover takes two minutes. Again, if you guys haven't tried them, be sure to check it out. We run three 4220s and then one newer TX220 on our, on our, uh, on our straight truck chassis. We also, just about all our neighbors run Myers too. They're pretty nice. There goes Curtis. It's going to be a chopping circus today, guys. So we are going to be using a lot of different tractors to do a lot of different jobs. So right now I'm in our loader tractor. That thing's going to be used for kind of a miscellaneous kind of work in the pile. We're also going to have Blanchard Dairy, a big dairy that next to us that helps us out a lot. They're bringing down a tractor with a blade. I believe it's like a Magnum. 280 or something like, or 305 or something like that. So they're bringing on a blade, a tractor with a blade. We're gonna be using the 340 and 190 on chopper boxes. We're also gonna be using our Sterling truck on a chopper box, uh, straight truck on a chop with a chopper box. We're gonna be using the FR 9060. Probably gonna be using the skid loader some too. So we got a whole bunch. It's a tractor circus right now. We're just getting, we're just prepping for it. So I'm just working the pile right now, just back dragging this back dragging the pile that Nathan just dumped. Nathan's switching the box over. Just 
just so we can basically dump more dump more next to that big ledge there there's blanchers with the 285 magnum with the blade so now we're ready to roll so i'm going to try and set up a time lapse on this thing for you guys but no promises on how it'll turn out let's walk over and see what the plan is I wonder why they started up the 50. Not sure. And there's our Sterling freight truck, or a straight truck right there. There goes Pat and Nathan. They're gonna head down, shot the first load. Then Curtis is gonna go down in the 340, then I'm gonna go down in the 190. We're gonna chop four loads down there. Just open that field up, then we're gonna come right here and chop. Alrighty, so I'm just taking off on the third wagon down there. Kerr is about ready to take off in the 340. I'm gonna follow him down there. He's gonna go in front of me so I can get the drone up in the air for a little while at least. Nathan's already down there, hopefully chopping. Hopefully he's about a quarter full right now. And we'll get moving. We're gonna do, try and do about 60 loads today. That's a lot it'll take to fill this pit. So let's see if we can get her done. Oh, beautiful. So he can go about five mile an hour faster than I can. I top out at 26, he tops out at 30, 31. So he'll be able to beat me down there, but it's all right. Let the day begin. So I got the drone up in the air right now. I'm not quite sure what they're doing. Oh, he must have got full there. But both wagons up there are full, so I'm gonna guess that Kurt's probably just gonna unhook and hook onto one. My best guess, but we'll find out. Looks like something got stuck. It's my best guess. Oh yeah, it's a little moist in here. Yeah, no way they're getting this wagon out. Yeah, it's a little moist. So they buried that wagon last night, so they had to pull it out backwards. They had the 190 on it, and they just couldn't handle it. So, but cause, mainly because the tires are pretty bald. But I'm gonna hook onto that one. I'm gonna hook onto that wagon that he just pulled out. I'm gonna drop this wagon right here so Pat can hook onto it. Go back and load it. Leave that wagon up there because we're just gonna do one more load, and then move up, move up to the main farm. Or move up to the home farm. Alrighty, I'm hooked up right now, so let's go watch Pat. So here I decided to get the drone up in the air just because I didn't know if this would be, I thought this might be the only time I'd be catching the chopper. So I figured I'd get the drone up in the air and I didn't know that they buried a wagon last night. So all we had to do was basically just hook a chain on the back of the axle and Pat's pulling it out with the chopper. We probably could have done with the tractor. Sorry, I am just tired. We probably could have pulled out with a tractor, but yeah, probably just better off to do it with the chopper. It's got more weight and much more uh, traction it could. It's got four-wheel drive and much better place to hook on. So we just usually pull st stuck things out with a chopper. But anyway, so Pat's chopping at his place. He always chops at least a couple loads. We'll probably chop more eagerly when we get over here. But he always chops a couple loads over here to try and open up at his place, give a place to haul manure, and basically a place to park semis and stuff like that. So you can kind of see it's definitely moist around there. There's kind of that wet spot where everything was planted, but stuff got drowned out, and it's just never emerged. So that's kind of how we buried it. It was just kind of coincidence that pat chose there to turn around right in the wet hole i bet he wasn't very happy with himself last night they opened this field up uh last night uh oh, i think it was like eight o'clock he got done with a chop he got done with a, a custom field or a custom farmer and then came over here and opened up this field so nathan was already filled up already is probably just about dumping and dumped and heading back curtis is getting dumped on right now there's me just turning around on the right hand side curtis is going to get filled up and then you'll kind of see but i'll deadhead back here and pick up that wagon that pat's carrying so all the whole reason we're doing this guys is just to kind of open this field up make it easier for combining and we also do this because the cruise boys our neighbors actually need a path to get all the way back to their field right there they can't get back there unless until we open something up so we usually like to do this for them we like to open this field up so that they can harvest at any time just got this thing accelerated up to full speed. Got my first load of the day. So again, this is kind of weird, but we're only uh, chopping three more loads of what we were. We're just gonna open it, open the field up. That's all we're doing with it. Just so it makes it easier for combining, a place for trucks to park, etc. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna unload this wagon at the at the pit, and then I'm just gonna drop it there. Come back, deadhead back there and pick up the wagon that Pat just had and go unload that and then I'm gonna stay hooked up to that wagon for the foreseeable future. So right here I'm unloading the chopper box. This is the only one I dump up top. What the plan is we'll dump this one up top and the rest of them we'll switch it to unload out the back. 
we'll just dump it right in the base of the pile and drive up and around. But this one just hooked up to the side. We just don't want to change it because we don't need to. But here's Curtis. I got to answer his phone call. Nathan's got a full load. My box is just dropped. Pat's just pulling in right now with the chopper. I'm going to go down and get that empty wagon, that full wagon down there. Look how that thing folds up pretty nicely. We're moving out, ladies and germs. Four loads already chopped today. Where you go? Alcetto. Driving. Time to hook up that wagon. Simple as that. Those Meyer boxes are spring assisted on the tongue. So it makes it real easy to hook up to raise that tongue up. There we go. All ready to roll. Let's head back to the farm. So they're chopping around the outside right now. It does not take long when you're taking in eight rows of 10 foot tall corn to fill up a box. So there's the train right there. They filled up the first wagon. They only made it a quarter of the way around the field. So got a long way to go. I'm gonna go in there and dump and join the line. Alrighty guys, so now I'm trying to dump out the back. There we go. Now I'm basically just letting the hydraulics get dumping it out the back of the gate. So all we did was just hook up a hydraulic line, flip the clutch around. Now I can just dump straight out the back. This dumps at about a third the time. You'll see on the time lapse at Blanchard's. He's running the packing tractor for us. This is their tractor, not ours, and he's kind of I'm just kind of watching him. He's gonna, he directs me when to move forward and not. Yes, yeah, so all they're doing is different from what what we just had. The conveyor chains are moving forward, and I'm not dumping out the side. There's just a gate in the back. There's that Magnum pushing the pushing the pile right up the right at the pit. I don't know. It's kind of hard to see him, but there's Pat chopping on the back side. It's definitely gonna be a little sloppy back here, so hopefully I don't get her stuck. It's definitely a little wet. But that's why I'm gonna do it, and not the and not the chopper truck, because that will for sure get stuck. So, got my front wheel assist engaged. Gonna have my differential on auto, so now I'm gonna bust my butt over there because he's just about full. I really hope there's not standing water in here. There is some pretty tall grass. But I'm going as close to what I will be driving back this way. Looks like Pat's full, so just in time. Here we go. There goes Curtis. Pat's gonna swing around. I'm not gonna get any video of this right now just because I gotta concentrate. Main yellow stock eating machine. It's a lot of material going in there. I bet I'll be full, I'll be full before I even hit the corner. Just look at this thing eat. She's hungry. Just about full. And just like that, I'm full. Nathan hopped on behind me. And we're gonna keep rolling. Now we're in rotation, just opening up the field. I'm gonna guess he's gonna go back this way now, just to open up another way along this path. He's right there, you can just kind of see the top of him. He's pulling a full wagon right now, just because that's what he used to open up. So I'm probably gonna meet Curtis about halfway down, I'm guessing. Which is good, so now we're gonna get in rotation. Now we're really gonna chop some loads. There's Curtis. Now we're really moving. I know that the back is so much quicker, so much easier. I don't even have to get out of the cab. And yeah, it's easily at three times quicker, so it's very nice. We love when we can do this. He's using that Dagelman blade very, very nicely. It's a good, it's a good combo with that tractor. Making sure the time lapse is still going, which it is. Sweet. There's Curtis chopping into Pat, and there's Nathan. Well, I just missed it, but we just automatically unhooked it. We have an auto hitch back there that just runs hydraulically. It's pretty slick. Chopping right along the highway right now. Say hello, cars. Chopping is just so fun. These machines are just so cool. I mean, look how much this, this corn's taller than our cabs. And it's just eating it all. We're going about one and a half mile an hour, not pushing the machine. Because it's getting older, 4,000 hours almost. Man, just look at this thing eat. Making some great feed. I think our meal wagon's here. Alrighty, time to pass this sucker on to Curtis. See if he can give you guys some little 
content for you. So here's the situation. So that 285 max magnum that Sean's over here with, the front end just went out on it. It is jumping. It's nothing's good with that. So that tractor's down. So we just spent the last 45 minutes fixing, trying to fix that, but it's it's out for the count. So I think we're we'll. We're trying to figure out what we need to do. We need to try and find another packing tractor. So here's Nathan's chopper truck. Just unloading up the bat like regular wagons. His unloads much quicker though because he can control it pretty well. His conveyor really moves. So we're getting close on the pit. Alrighty, I'm gonna get the 400 unburied. Oh, alrighty guys. So, with that, hello. So with the 285 going down, what we ended up doing is using our loader tractor and the 400. Loader tractor to push the piles, 400 to actually pack everything down. So when you're filling these bunks, you need to pack down as much as possible. That way you get a nice, you can A, you fill in as much as possible, and B, you kind of get all the air out. As, so that way it can ferment. That's what we're trying to do here. We're basically just put a big old pile so everything ferments in here. So me and Sean are going back and forth. Alrighty guys, we're just making progress. I'd say we're roughly about, oh, I don't know, 20 loads in, halfway done maybe. Just my best guess. We're trying to get it so the guys can just drive straight down. It's much easier for both us pack, for me packing and for Sean pushing. They're really moving. I mean, just about every time a, a load pulls out, another one pulls in. So we're really making headway here. I think because they're they're pretty close. I think that uh, the chopping right on this near side right here. I know I'm gonna split this video up into two guys. I'm probably a little late, but uh, let's go ahead and split this video up right here. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. If you guys did, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Follow us on Facebook and Instagram at Hartung Family Farms. I just signaled to Nathan to go over to the left side. And of course, guys, as always, ta-ta for now.